okay so welcome back so we understood how to create custom command right now i have given blackberry to select if let's say now if you want to select another product earlier you want to repeat that logic again totally and pass that product name but now we have wrapped that whole code in one select product customizable command right so whatever argument you pass here as first argument will become your custom command name for your logic so if you call this with this command this will get executed with whatever para, uh, parameters you send so i will repeat same test now and i will go with nokia edge okay save your test and look at your output now it basically select two products let's see if it happens or not um nokia edge is selected but it did not select blackberry did we provide blackberry yeah it's there let's see oh i know because b is the small letter here and we gave the capital letter right that's why nice this is one of the test case negative test case so we have successfully tested our function custom command if it is working or not isn't it good look at here now two items are added in the checkout and these are the items blackberry and nokia edge so we were able to generalize our logic by making the custom command so i hope you understood the importance and how to declare this custom cypress commands so like this you can have any commands in your application so whenever you feel that that particular logic may need to execute again and again or if you think that logic may be used by multiple test cases better make it as a custom command and use it and this is really great feature in this framework because in no other automation tool you will get a product like this and they have separately given as one folder to handle all this so if you place that in commands.js look at here i did not import anything if it is typical object oriented programming like selenium java if you want to declare this reusable method you have to declare in one class and you want to import it so that or if you want to create object for that class to access select product which is present on that particular commands.js class but here you just place there and your test automatically gets knowledge but whereas in selenium if you place it in somewhere your original test will not get knowledge you have to either import that file into your test or either create object for that specific class here and call through object dot but here there is no such headache that's why cypress framework was very very easy lots of code has been reduced to very less and you will you will not feel that you are learning some complicated things i liked it okay okay so let's say there are four products which you need to select is that not looking a little awkward that we were repeating same step again and again can't it be more optimized like i have to use select product only once can i do that yes it's possible let's understand and with this concept i will also explain how to parameterize test okay now we know that you can drive all this data from a fixture file which is example.json okay you can put any name for this it doesn't matter so instead of actually writing the product names what you want to select let's drive it from our particular um, example.json here okay so put comma at the end and say product name and the values so here we understand that understood that we need to select two products so how do you define that if it is only blackberry you can simply say go and do blackberry and 
that's fine it works but what if you have another product can you add like this you can do but tell to json that this product name is not just an object it's an array okay basically array have a set of elements right so if you think that this product name required multiple values then treat this as array so json will automatically think it's an array if you put brackets like this in javascript array is um, notated by this brackets if you write anything like this javascript treats it as an array so you can pass multiple objects into it okay so blackberry and nokia edge this is what you need nice so basically you have created a json key value pair but for product key you have a value but that value is not single element it's an array okay that's it so nice when you actually have product name with array then how do you deal here so this dot data dot product name now returns array okay so our thought process here is to iterate through this array and pull up each and every value present in this array and repeat this select product step for each and every element present in this product name array that's what we need to achieve right let's say tomorrow there are 10 more products present here so we will write one simple function here like iterate through the product name array and for each element just pass that element into the select product method and get executed okay so basically iterating array logic should be written here i hope you are following so i'm trying to make this core mode optimized you can just say like this like select two products but what tomorrow if there are 10 products so that looks awkward right and again you have a pain point that data should not be in your test case it should come from the json file but you got confused that what if i have multiple product names how do i drive it from json and this is how you need to drive and once you drive i will now show how to execute that okay just follow me by end of this lecture you will understand see all these are real time challenges what we face i can simply show click type send keys and do validations and leave but the things what i am trying to tell now like um, based upon product name select the product or iterate through multiple products drive the data from external sources this is what people will expect from you when you sit it in real time project okay so based upon all my experience i am trying to give you here so how to iterate through array in javascript because you might not be good in javascript right you started learning cypress but at the same time parallelly we had some basic knowledge in javascript just assume that you there is nothing in your top of your mind to understand about that so only thing what you can do here is a google <laughs> that's what solution is so i'm just telling if you face any problem in your company do not get panic okay let's say meet any developer and look at his monitor for at least one hour 30 minutes out of his time will be in google search everyone does okay you won't have anything on your top of mind because people work in multiple languages in their experience so they don't have every syntax in their mind so there is a javascript array for each command which i really like so just google that and developer.mozilla.org this is the excellent website to learn javascript i personally lent every page i read every page from this um, website i had a flight of 8 hours i think to one of the destination in europe and i just spent whole 8 hours in reading this um, document on javascript anyways let's come back look at here they were even giving us a syntax to how to achieve it so we were now in this situation we have array 
with multiple elements so what they were saying is you have a for each method in javascript where you can apply on array like array one dot for each so that every element will come into this loop so that's why you see expected output is a b c that means this loop ran three times for every each and every time this a will fall into the element and it will get accessible to this block and next time b will come and next time c will come this is the logic okay let's bring this logic now look at here what is our array now our array is this product name so how to bring that array here yes this is how you can do it i told you right you can access anything name gender or product name which we did in the previous lecture like this dot data dot name we already initialized this data in our before hook function by calling the fixture method nice so this dot data dot product name is our array i'll place it here perfect so this array basically have two elements blackberry and nokia edge so for each element for the first time when loop is iterating blackberry falls here in this element okay now what i will do i will carefully place this select product method here and the element first time is blackberry right i would put it in this argument perfect so now what happens when program started first of all it brings both blackberry and nokia edge because those two elements are present in the array first time blackberry comes here and it also falls here so we were saying that blackberry is an argument to this select product and it will go to commands.js with the blackberry it will execute this logic because the command what we gave is a select product and next it clicks on that add to cart again loop will iterate for one more element which is nokia edge and it does the same again you see that we have optimized this to very little that i have written the select product method only once one single line but doing lot of things here okay um i hope everything is good blackberry nokia edge so let's run and see how this goes fingers crossed make sure you save your project because this time you are driving it from commands and example.json as well save all and then rerun your execution perfect look at here it have successfully selected two products and you can see here in the checkout page blackberry and nokia edge and now if you go through your test see how neatly this uh, steps are organized you don't have any information about blackberry or nokia edge here and you don't have any logic here everything is encapsulated from your custom commands and the elements are driven from uh, fixtures so this is how you need to bring intelligence in building optimized tests with your framework support so all these are pre built supported by cypress okay so where to write the commands for support and the fixtures everything is already there you just need to place the things in right area so that you can pull it into your test all right guys so that's all i have in this lecture thank you